people are hungry. Hi, and welcome back to Tarantulas with Shanti. As promised, I'm going to go over with you how to use the cupping method on a New World Tarantula that has lost its fangs. You can also use this method of picking up a tarantula if your tarantula has been injured or uh, if you need to administer some sort of medication, um, whatever reason that it's required that you need to pick up your tarantula, this will be a very good method that you can use. However, the disclaimer is you probably don't want to use this on an old world or a more aggressive tarantula. And please remember too, that my tarantula does not have fangs, so I don't have to worry about her biting me. All I have to worry about is kicking hair, and that's something that she doesn't even do. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, this is my little fangless spiza. So I'm going to demonstrate the cupping method of picking her up. First thing you want to do is position your hand over the top. This is going to go over her chelicerae and you're just going to do it in one swift motion. Um, remember that she does not have fangs. I recommend that you go to the Tarantula Keeper's Guide, um, this book here, and you read up on how to do this properly. It's very important um, so that you don't hurt the your tarantula or end up being bitten. So once again, she does not have fangs. This makes a big difference in picking her up. Now she's being a little defensive. Um, she was a minute ago. I just wanted to let her know that I'm here. So she's been, you know, bothered by me because I've been picking her up to feed her. I don't think that um, she likes it. So she's gotten really used to this being her home. All right, so the cupping technique. There we go. And uh, you can see my, I have my, my, my finger on the front of her chelicerae. And I've grabbed her on both sides of the body. I'm going to prepare some food for her and give her a meal. Once again, how do we do the cupping technique? You want to pick the tarantula up smoothly, just like you would an egg or a tennis ball. You want her nestled in the palm of your hand comfortably. There we go. I have my, my index finger on her chelicerae. And there you have it, the, the cupping technique. You can see that she's put on a little bit of weight um, since I, she's been fed twice in um, the past few weeks. Let's see, it's now September, oh, it's like the 7th, and I got her on August 18th. This is her third feeding, so she's definitely put on a little bit of weight and uh, maybe maybe that means that she's getting ready to go into pre-molt I don't know but she just looks 
She looks really fresh, like she molted not too long ago, so I wouldn't expect that. I just think she's been metabolizing her food and putting on some weight, so let her um, consume what I just gave her and then give her another round of food.